Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. Uh, Paige Panzarello here, the cash flow chick. And uh, you know, I, I wanted to touch base today because some interesting things have been going on uh, over the course of the last couple days. Uh, and I thought it was pertinent. So I've been trying to, when, when something happens that could happen to just about everybody, uh, I try and share it these days uh, with you on Facebook Live. So thanks for joining. Um, I'm talking today really about being okay with walking away from the deal. Um, and that's such a hard thing to do, is being okay to walk away from the deal. Uh, for those of us that are have been investing for a long time, it's even hard for me. I mean, I've been in the real estate game for over 20 years, and it's never easy to walk away from a deal. Um, we had some great successes last week, and I wanted to keep that going. Uh, you know, we were able to help a couple people stay in their home, and that was terrific. Uh, we did have success with the gal that I told you about that didn't want to leave her home. Um, she did come to realize that it was the best thing for her and that she really was in over her head. Um, so I really wanted that momentum of last week to continue through this week. And I've been, um, you know, again, being okay with walking away from the deal is paramount to your success. And I say that because most people have put a lot of time into whatever they're working on and it doesn't matter what read what medium um, of real estate investing that you're investing in right whenever you spend your time and your money uh, going into prepping for this deal and negotiating a deal and this particular deal that i'm going to about to tell you about in just a few minutes uh, it took me a month and a half. I've been working on this thing for a month and a half. And, and our time is our most valuable asset, as we all know, right? So it, I'm just, I wanted to tell you that even those of us that have been in this game a long time struggle with this particular issue of walking away from the deal. And when you get to that mindset, and if you can go into every single deal with that mindset, you're gonna be okay. And that's a tough thing to do. It's absolutely a tough thing to do. Uh, for me, this particular deal is something, again, I said I've been working on it for about a month and a half. I don't wanna walk away from it. I really don't. I've, I've spent a lot of time and energy, but it's gearing in that direction. And so I wanted to share that with you today a little bit. Oh, hi, Reza. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Courtney. Hi, Claire, Mackenzie. Thank you so much for joining in. Um, yeah, so we're talking about walking away from the deal. And for me, again, I spent about a month and a half uh, putting together a sale of uh, some non-performing notes that we've got going. Uh, and we, you know, we bought a pool and we have wanted to siphon some of these off to another investor. So we've been in negotiations for about, like I said, a month and a half. And we've, we've surmounted some pretty big mountains. Um, and, you know, really, I think that, that this discussion also doesn't just pertain to investing. It really pertains to life in general. Um, because, you know, you get that spidey sense, that tingling feeling like, hmm, maybe something's not right or hmm, maybe it's just not, you know, it's not coming together easily. Have it, has anybody ever had that where it's just not coming together easily and you think to yourself, maybe I shouldn't do this. Maybe there's a reason that this is not coming together and we push it and we push it and then, and then in the end, you know, we get our way. And then in the end, it ends up biting us in the butt. Has anybody ever had that? God knows I have. <laughs> so this particular deal we've been working on again for a month and a half. Um, the buyer of this small pool uh, made a lot of promises. And, you know, I, I, he's changed the rules on me a few times. And we're literally at the closing table right now. We're in the process of signing documents right now now and he's changing the rules on me again and my thought is I need to walk away and it's tough to walk away after a month and a half I mean we're literally at the signing table and my gut is telling me that that's what I need to do and so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna do it today and I just want you to know that that's okay 
if you're new to real estate investing, if you're new uh, in any space, and that little sense, you know, you, you know, you want a deal and you're aggressive and you're passionate and you can't wait to get your first deal. And so you make something happen. And it sometimes isn't always the best thing, right? Sometimes it isn't always what's going to be good for you in the end. If it doesn't come together naturally, then take notice of that and be okay to walk away from the deal. Be okay. Because sometimes one door opens, you know, there's an old saying out there, a, a door, one door open or one door closes and two more open or two windows open. Same thing here. So I have a feeling that, you know, a lot of us suffer from this is that we, we dedicate our time. We put forth a lot of energy, sometimes our money. Um, you know, we put forth our time, our money. Uh, we, we go out, we walk it, we, we pencil it out. Um, and then when we get to the closing table, there's something wrong. And we push through it and we think, okay, I'm just, if I can just get this closed, then I'm going to make it better. And then it ends up not being better. It ends up being worse. I'm going to challenge everybody to take note of that. Be okay with walking away from the deal because you never know what windows or other doors are going to open for you if you do walk away from that deal. Um, we all think that it's going to be okay and it might not it might not be okay. Tom Black says, a woman's intuition is very finely tuned. Tom, you are absolutely right. Uh, you know, sometimes though, we women and men, we all have it. We all get that tingly sense and we ignore it. How many of you have ignored it? I have, I've ignored it. And it's ended up biting me in the butt. So again, you know, I challenge you, be okay with walking away from the deal. Be okay with spending that time, spending your money, and, and truthfully, you haven't lost anything. Yes, you may have dedicated some time, but it, I don't consider it to be a loss unless you actually um, ignore that and you don't learn from it, excuse me. So if you don't learn from those spidey senses, if you don't learn from spending all that time and having to walk away, then yes, you might consider that a loss. But if you learn from paying attention to that intuition, if you learn from, wow, I dedicated, you know, 15 of my hours or 25 or 50 of my hours and 500 or 1,000 or 5,000 of my dollars, how much did it save you in the end? Really, if you pay attention to it. Um, so, you know, be okay with walking away from the deal because it really can end up saving you in the long run. It might hurt a little bit in the short term, right? You might spend that time, um, but it, it, might, uh, it might hurt you in the long run. So being okay to walk away from the deal. And then sometimes, here's what's really interesting, is sometimes it will come back to your table and it will be on your terms this time. Has anybody ever had that happen to me, to them? I've had it happen to me all the time. You know, I've walked away from a deal that I've spent two, three months putting together and felt awful about it, didn't want to walk away from the deal. But boom, three months later, they came back and said, you know what, we've thought about it and, and you're right, this is what we need to do. And we get it closed and it flows naturally. Um, hi, Jenna. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. I haven't seen you and talked to you in a long time. Uh, the baby's beautiful, by the way. <laughs> um, anyway, so be okay to walk away from the deal because you know what? It might come back to you and it might not come back to you. And either way, it's okay because if you've walked because your sense has said to you, no, this is not okay for me. This is not part of my what. This is not my what. It doesn't fit in my wheelhouse. It doesn't fit to my terms. And by the way, we always make sure that the deal conforms to us and what is good for us. Hopefully, you know, it, and, and it has to be a win-win. But if it doesn't fit in your wheelhouse, if it doesn't conform to you and your risk tolerances and your management styles and the things that you need to have come out of it, then don't do it. Don't force a square into a circle. Does that make sense? You don't want to put a square peg into a round hole. It just doesn't work. So be okay and, and start your 
your deal negotiations. Start into any deal you do with being able to walk away from it. And really that pertains to life too, right? Um, you, don't, you don't go and do something or eat something that you don't like. At least you try not to. Why would you do that with real estate? Why would you do that with your money? It's the same thing. So make sure that it's a win-win situation. Make sure that you're okay with walking away from the deal. Make sure that you know what you need to get out of it and make sure that it's going to happen that way because if it doesn't, then somebody somewhere along the line, probably you, is gonna get hurt. And we all know that we, <laughs> We don't want to get hurt. That's part of everyone's biggest fear is losing money or getting hurt or not having it as a win. So if you're not okay with walking away from the deal, then you shouldn't, you should do more of your due diligence um, before you even start doing deals. Okay. You need to be okay with walking away, walking away and saying no, which is a two letter, letter word that, that inspires so much fear with so many people. It's so silly, but no is really okay. It should be your number one word in your vocabulary, no, <laughs> because it's gonna protect you. And oftentimes it protects others, right? Oftentimes it will protect others around you and they don't even know it. So it, the onus is on you and the responsibility is on you um, to say no to any deal that doesn't conform or to say no to anything that doesn't fit you and your lifestyle and who you are as a person, as an investor, as a, a wife, a, a husband, any of those things. Um, you know, it's, it's important to know when something doesn't work, it's okay to say, you know what, that doesn't work for me. The world is not going to stop spinning. I promise it's actually going to be better for you. Um, so yes, Mackenzie says, and you're gaining new knowledge. There's still value in walking away. Absolutely. If you've learned from something, if you've walked away, if you've learned whatever it is, that, that nugget, because there's always a nugget. You got to look for it sometimes, but there's always a nugget. And if you learn from walking away, then you've actually gained. You haven't lost anything. And I think that's part of why a lot of people feel so strongly about, oh, I've put so much time and energy into this and I just don't want to walk away. Um, relationships, sometimes we struggle with relationships too. You know, oh my gosh, boyfriends and girlfriends go through this when we're very young and even sometimes when we're older. This is how we learn, right? We put in all this time and energy and oh, I can, if I just can do this, I can make it work. Why? It's like eating something you don't like. It's okay to say no, and it's okay to walk away. Um, and when you're dealing in real estate, again, the onus really is on you, especially if you're dealing with other people's money. If you have joint venture partners, if you have investors that you're working with, it is your responsibility as a sophisticated investor, even if you're new, leverage your teams that you have around you. Leverage the people that are around you that do know that can help you. Don't be embarrassed. And if they tell you it's time to walk away, please walk away. And if you know that it's time to walk away, then please walk away. It's so important. It's so important. And, you know, you just want to make sure that you cover yourself, that you cover um, the people that are around you, that you you live up to the things that you say you're going to do. Again, we're back to, you know, my situation today. This particular gentleman has made all kinds of promises and then he has reneged and he's changed the rules all the way up to today. We're at the closing table. We're ready to sign documents and I'm going to walk away as soon as, as a matter of fact, as soon as I finish this Facebook live, I'm going to reach out to him and say, you know what? This doesn't work for me. This does not work for me and I'm going to move on. And I will, you know, put that small pool of notes that we're, that we're looking to sell back out for sale and that'll be okay. You know, yeah, it might be a little bit more time, but it's important that I know what is my risk tolerance. I know what I'm willing to do and what I'm not willing to do and what is going to be beneficial for both of us. And if it's not a win-win, and I mean that, if it's not a win-win, I'm good with walking away. It's hard but I'm still good with it. And so I wanted to share that with you today because again, you know, we all do it. We do it in, in our life. We do it in our business. Uh, we do it in, in every single day, everywhere we go. 
we we make these choices to to stay in it and and gut it out or you know hard to walk away so make sure though that if you if you feel that spidey sense if you feel that tingling in your gut or that intuition saying you know what this really isn't going well then please walk away your best defense is going to be if you walk into those negotiations if you go into every deal that you make knowing that you might have to walk away and being okay with it you are going to be so successful and it doesn't mean that it's a permanent thing again i've had plenty of deals i've walked from that have circled back around and they've come back to me a couple months down the road and that's tremendous because then who's sitting in the power seat i am i get to control the deal at that point and for me and my my risk tolerance is very i have i'm risk adverse i like to call myself risk adverse so when I have the knowledge, you know, from the previous experiences, I've done my due diligence. And now, because that has circled, that deal has circled back around to me, now I have the power to make it conform to me versus the other way around. Now I have the power. Now I'm not saying abuse it. I mean, certainly don't abuse the power. <laughs> make it a win-win, but make it a win-win. Make it a win for you and make it a win for the other party. And if there's a third party involved, make it a win-win-win. Um, but please, I just, I challenge everybody, please make sure that you don't conform to the deal. Make the deal conform to you. Because if you conform to the deal, we can all manipulate numbers. We can all put a pretty paint coat on this. Uh, you know, there's there's a, a movie adage out there, you know, <laughs> you can't polish a turd. And I'm sorry to be blunt, but sometimes there are deals out there that are turds that we try and polish. Don't do it. Walk away. It's okay to walk away. <laughs> I see everybody laughing. <laughs> um, Mackenzie says, if you have investor partners anxious for returns, how do you explain to them why you walked away? That is a great question, Mackenzie. Thank you. Okay. So I actually do have an investor partner on this particular deal and I'm going to go to him and I'm going to say to him, you know what, here's the thing. I know you're anxious and that we want to sell this small pool and we want to get our capital out and reinvest it because we've got, here's why we've got some other things that are, that are waiting for that capital to come back out. Um, I'm going to go to him and say, listen, there are other deals that are out there and I'm not willing to risk and jeopardize your money just because we're anxious to get this deal done. I'm not willing to risk your money. I'm willing to risk my time and leave my time that I've already spent putting this deal together. This deal is not conforming to us and our risk tolerances and I'm not willing to risk your money. And if I tell him that, of course, he's not going to want to walk away from the deal, but he's going to realize he, he more than that, he doesn't want to waste his money. He doesn't want his money to go away. I wouldn't want my money to go away. And there's potential for that if we do this deal the way it sits right now. And so we're going to walk away from it. And, um, you know, again, he's, it's hard for me too. I've put a month and a half of my time into this deal and that's okay because I've learned I've learned about this particular buyer and I've learned how to you know a, a few things about this particular pool that that you know may have had concerns for him and how to combat that so there's always a nugget um, but my investor is going to appreci appreciate the fact that I'm not willing to risk his money just to get a deal done he's gonna thank me in the long run I know it he's probably gonna thank me in the short term too um, but I know he's going to thank me in the long run. Um, so it's hugely important. Um, so that's how I handled it, Mackenzie. Thank you. I really appreciate that. And Annie, thank you so much. Yes, good points. <laughs> they are, um, you know, and, and we all struggle with it. All of us struggle with it. All of us struggle with, with oh, gosh, I've, I've dedicated so much of my time and money and I don't want to walk away. You have to walk away. And I'm going to suggest this as well. Always have a contingency budget in your business, always, because you're going to spend money doing some due diligence, right? So always have some sort of monthly contingency budget and, and chalk it up to that. Any money that you spend while you're doing your due diligence, if you have to walk away from a deal, 
have, you know, that you've already budgeted for that. You, you anticipate that. Anything that you anticipate ahead of time is your way of controlling the outcome and mitigating your risk. And that's what this is about. It's all about mitigating your risk and mitigating your risk in your investments, mitigating your risk in terms of emotions if you're in relationships, mitigating your risk in terms of, of finances, in terms of relationships. All of those things come into this particular topic of being able to walk away. You know, we're specifically talking about walking away from a deal, but it really applies to everything in our life. And if we look at it that way, I think we'd all save ourselves a bunch of hardship, right? <laughs> I think we'd all save ourselves a bunch of pain if we would just get out of our own way and be okay with walking away. Be okay with walking away from that deal. Be okay with walking away. You know, sometimes we have to, there's some of us that are out there that in the past have had to take a job we don't want. Okay, you know, yes, it's a necessary evil, but then what happens when they get stuck there? They get stuck for years and years and years in a job that they don't want and their future and their dreams are going by the wayside just because they're fearful of putting themselves in an, in an uncomfortable position. And that uncomfortable position is saying, this is not okay for me. And I'm going to go and make something happen that is okay for me. So be okay to walk away from the deal. Be okay to walk away for something that doesn't fit and conform to you as a person, as an investor, as a, in a relationship, all of those things. Um, it's so, so important. So I've got to go end a deal that I've been working on for a month and a half. Um, but I did want to share with you that, you know, these little nuggets about please take a look, pay attention to that spidey sense, pay attention to that, um, that voice that's in your head or that rumbling around nauseous feeling in your gut that says no this is not how it was supposed to be or no this deal is not coming together the way it's supposed to be um, you know make sure that you go into every deal knowing that you might have to walk away and be okay with walking away and if you are in the middle of it or at the end of it literally like i am at the closing table right now and you say to yourself you hear that voice or you feel that sensation say to yourself you know what it's there for a reason and i'm going to walk away and it's okay because this door is closing but there's two windows that are going to open right after it and i know there are and i'm okay with that and it might cost me a little bit of time and it might have cost me a little bit of money but you know what in the long run it's going to cost me a whole lot less it actually saved me from a lot of pain a lot of stress and a lot of money. Um, ask me how I know that because I know that personally. It's it's part of who uh, it's part of your skinned knees as an investor, right? We all skin our knees um, as we go along our investing uh, process. Uh, I've God knows I've had enough skinned knees. I don't need any more. I'm too old for them. <laughs> <laughs> so be okay to walk away from the deal. Be okay to be true to you and what your what is. Be true to your what. Make that deal conform to you, okay? Don't conform to the deal. All right, so I've got to go. Mackenzie says such important points. I'll definitely take to heart. Thank you so much, Mackenzie, in business and in life. Um, you're very welcome. It's my pleasure. I've got to go walk away from a deal. Have a great day, everybody. Talk to you soon. Okay, bye.